Hi everyone, it's Laurel here. I'm back for part five of our Make a Mini Album series. Um, I'm having a little trouble uploading some of the videos and I wanted to let you know that I apologize in advance for the length of some of them. Um, so if you're following along, you should be somewhat complete. Um, I have gone ahead and completed my book. So the last video, I left you guys matting your pages and I have completed my matting. I edged everywhere. And then I also had you apply your tabs to all your tags. So this is what I was trying to describe is the staggered look of the tags, um, which I quite like. Um, so that should all be completed and you should have a book. Um, the last thing to do is to embellish it. So we attached our brad with our loop. That just takes a piece of ribbon to tie it closed. And then what I did was I selected some ribbon of varying types from my ribbon stash and I tied them onto the rubber bands. And I have Let's see, some measuring tape ribbons, some green organdy, some lace, some tulle, um, just various scraps of things that I've tied all in the back. Um, I added some corners because I like those quite well. And you could continue to embellish, but that is the completed album. Um, start to finish, it probably took me with filming and talking, I'm going to estimate here probably two and a half to three hours to completely make it from start to finish. Um, four signatures and three ties. Um, I really like how it came out. Um, what I wanted to show you too was this is was. This was a fresh 48 sheet Prima Nature's Garden Collection stack, and this is all I have left. Um, so you can do it with a 6x6 six six if you are willing to use up all your paper. Um, and I was, because this was not getting the use that I thought that it should have. Um, and I quite like how it came out. I also like using the policy envelopes a bit better because there's no sticking and I like that the tags are corner punched and I didn't have to do as much inking as I did on the first one. So just a couple of styles and uh, I hope that you find this project to be fun and that you'll give it a try. And um, perhaps I will make another variation in a different paper line um, soon. And this is all this does. This just slips right through here. And you could do, you know, lobster claw and chain. You can do the type of closure that you like. I tend to like ribbon, so. This is all I do to close it. So thanks for watching everyone. I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can get the detail of the paper. Hopefully my camera will focus. It's very subtle, but it's blues and greens and lots of pretty things. So until next time, bye everyone.